is my first time here. I'm backstage watching it thinking, this is like if Braveheart was about Ace Ventura. <laughs> I like to think Braveheart meets Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna, they got to go to freedom! What's, uh, what do we got going here with James Carville and the Industrial Vibrator? <laughs> That's a great name for a band. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that, girl. Yeah, no, 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 no. I can't even watch Carville anymore. He's got more nervous ticks than a Baghdad parking valet. <laughs> he does look very nervous. Why do you think he's so nervous? Why? I he's don't know. married to a woman that's politically very opposite. He's to him. afraid of her leaving at any moment in case she realizes he looks like a Muppet accidentally washed on hot. <laughs> It's a, I've got a tiny penis, this helps. Hey, you were talking in the monologue about Clinton. That's the third time Clinton's answered the call on something, you know, showing up in Bangkok, like right. you said, covering. Yeah. And I remember when they had those two female journalists in North Korea, oh, yeah. and they, he went over to help out. I'm, I'm not even sure he knew what he was doing there, though. I'm pretty sure he woke up from a nap, and somebody said, hey, come on, we're going to Puntang. And he said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go to Puntang. No, right. I always thought, I, I thought it was because he had always had experience of springing chicks from Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clinton, uh, you know, he, he, he asked for it. it you got to make horn dog jokes yeah, about you, him. Because well, you know. he walked around in front of us for eight years in a perpetual state of al dente, and that's what you get. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Al dente? Yeah, that's, yeah. you know, that's not quite uncooked, but a little well, turgid. Yes. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel the nub. Yeah, yeah, go on. It's set on vibrato. Whoa. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Be careful, that's one of the most deadly killing machines in the universe. Can, can you believe there was a time in history that kids were ever afraid of that piece of... Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, hey, people still are. Huh? People, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's a terrifying... It's like uh, if a humidifier had swallowed some big pads. <laughs> You can't, and you can't insult Daleks. Knock it nah, off. Now right. listen, now, you, know, you can go after, you can do all the political stuff you want, but don't go after no, the Daleks. No, I know Dalek, Doctor you know. Who's a big thing. That's yeah, a big right? thing in Britain. Uh -huh. Yeah, they. they and they, you're, what are you doing tomorrow night? You're doing an AFI salute or no, a Kennedy Center or what? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's Doctor Who. The actor who plays Doctor Who is going to be on the show. He's still alive. Yeah, well. Wow. <laughs> they call him Doctor Why now. <laughs> watch on TV then? It can't be all um, politics with you. Is it all politics no, all the time? come on, jeez. That's my day job. When I get off at night, I like to watch uh, Turner Classic movies. I find it uh, restive over there. Really? Old films, yeah, black and white films. And then I like at the other end of the spectrum to watch really crap TV. I like those uncomfortable fake uh, TV shows about commercials, about, you know, the toothbrushing stuff oh, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> that's like always the, yeah, yeah. the people in the crowd and you think, what did they just yeah. oh, slip no. these people a roof of yeah, them and bring to, them in? We used to talk about it as like, when you get people that say, do you have difficulty using the phone? And an actor's like, yes, yeah, it's really hard, Ryan. <laughs> <my." laughs> The, uh, the, do you watch uh, Do you watch the Project Runway? I always imagined you'd enjoy that. Um, or maybe the reality shows. What about Jersey Shore? Do you watch that? Well, listen, I think Snooki's a, a genius in her own way. And, uh, <laughs> Explain. Well, it's just that uh, when you actually call the president on something legitimate and get away with it, that made me laugh when she <laughs> said, you know, it really is true. Why would any, dem any party want to tax tanning beds? And when you think about it, it's so ridiculous. So when Snooki came out with that, I thought, you know, when, when you don't make sense to Snooky, you've really... I got up. Uh. <laughs> Did they tax tanning beds? Really? Was that a... That was the thing. They wanted to tax tanning beds. And I was looking at Snooky. As she, to me, she looks like she has to remember to breathe. She can, yeah, barely, yeah. <laughs> she can barely stand up, right? And at some point, she said, you know, this doesn't make sense. And all of a sudden, she's turned it into a, a legislative genius. Well, it's fantastic. <laughs> Now, are you? I, I'm never quite sure with you if you, you're not. You're not absolutely with the GOP, and you're not no. absolutely. Well, you're, you're not with. Listen, the Democrats. if two human beings uh, with similar genitals want to get married because they love each other, we, uh, uh, thank God. I love it when people. Like, you know, to me, global or uh, gay marriage is like eight billion and forty second on my list of things that concern me. Right. Right above global warming at eight billion and forty third. Okay. <laughs> I never get that. What's the crux of the problem? It would appear the temperature of the planet over the last century has gone up 1.8 degrees. Maybe, maybe not. Excuse me for not trusting temperature figures from the year 1906. Right, I mean, okay. We yeah, were still right. defecating outside in the woods, but I'm supposed to believe they had a stranglehold on the Fahrenheit at the Earth's magma. I'm sure that was an accurate reading. Ezekiel, put the candle wick down the possum hole. 
Let's lay down a baseline for future generations to derive their self-worth from. Then we'll go hand churn some butter, maybe invent flight later this year. Yeah. You think that though? Do you, I mean, you really, you don't care about the global warming? You, you don't buy it at all? Um, the way I view it is this, it's a very effective anti-terror tool, because it's 120 over there to begin with. I'll be uncomfortable, there'll be a charcoal briquette at some point. <laughs> It's, it's going to get them before it gets me. Listen, I, I don't know. I think they're guessing. I think my generation's been good for the environment. I'm 57 years old. When I was a kid, we used to go to Dairy Queen at night. We were finished. We'd back out onto the highway. We'd chuck every piece of the car right out the window. <laughs> I'm the generation who stopped throwing it out the window, okay? <laughs> Let the other kids dial in the temperature. I've done my part. Seems reasonable. <laughs> when, when you, you, all of a sudden, he's going, he's turning into the doctor on me. I, Seems reasonable. <laughs> what about the, uh, the uh, Obama administration, your fan? Listen, he seems like a nice man to me, and I like how cool he is, and, uh, but there are certain things that I, uh, you know, to me, Obamacare, this looks like a big sweaty encyclopedia salesman that we accidentally let into the living room, and it's going to be... <laughs> It's going to be tough to pry them out on the back porch again. You know, when they tell you that you can stay in your parents' medical benefits till age 26, you get two years of unemployment, you can use uh, Obamacare to pay for medical marijuana, they throw in some food stamps for munchies. Yeah, yeah, at, yeah. at that point, this whole country is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure 3. <laughs> you know that. We can't, we can't go down that road. Well, then let's talk. Then let's talk a little bit about the alternatives coming up in uh, 2012. Who yeah. do you think might be a, an interesting Well, candidate? there are unknown people at this point. Somebody has to be in a debate with that man who's proven himself. You know, obviously, Barack is a great speaker. But right. my feeling is, okay, let him sell sham wells. we got a country to save here. Right. But uh, you need somebody in a debate to hold their own. You know, he's very smooth up there. And it, that'll be the unexpected person who comes to the fore, somebody who's in a debate situation with him where they do a wrestling reversal and get out of it and pancake. Yeah. There's some cats out there like Tim Palente, who I think is going to be a good guy. Mitch Daniels. I like the fat man in New Jersey, Chris Christie. I think he's a good guy. But none of them mean anything right now. You know, Barack Obama is a tough guy to knock off his haunches. And uh, we'll see two years hence who steps to the fore. But those would be three I'd name right up front. What about, uh, what about Palin? Is that going to happen? I like Palin because, just because too many people who I don't respect hate her. Right, you know? right. <laughs> Don't you, don't you, aren't you I know, interested? I know where you're going with that. No, some I, I'm people not, hate I'm not her. a huge fan of her, but now you've come at me with a, a lot of people yeah, I hate, yeah, hate her. I, I go, look, oh, yes. yes. I always pull on that thread and go, why do they hate her so much? And you know something? I think a lot of women like her. I think a lot of guys, they're loath to admit it because of their wives, but I think they think of her as the first potential. Ooh la la. And uh, <laughs> I, I think the... <laughs> You say that in CBS? Huh? Oh, you can? You can actually say, ooh la la. Oh, yeah. Although you had a horn thing for LBJ, didn't you? Isn't LBJ? that why you wanted to become a citizen? You had the horn for him? For the horn for LBJ? Yeah. <laughs> Some fantasy about picking you up by the ears? No, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> Or maybe I lied to you at some point. That's also possible. Dennis, it's, it's lovely to have you on the show. I Listen, we, Fergie. What? I don't. You know, I just want to kiss the ring. There is. No, have you ever seen a cat this loose on American <laughs> television? I mean, it is as loose. Oh, yeah. as it you can. got it. Want to? Uh, come on, man. Come on. Blow, right, blow right. a little organ with me. Blow a little organ. Right. You know, do you play? Well, I'm about to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you I, get it? You want I, me to I keep it in the box when I play. <laughs> Ah, yes. You are a Republican, Come aren't you? On. You all right? Look, man, I can open it for Oh, look at you. All right, you ready? We've got to play ourselves out because we get no bad. Yes. Right, where well, you ready? Yankee Doodle? I can't believe I couldn't open that box. That's all right. It's like Dumb and Dumber. All right, you ready? Yeah. One. Two. One, play. two, three. Do you suck or blow? Do what you like. Ah, we started with Clinton. We, we ended, ended with Clinton. That is what I want to go right back. Please welcome Dennis Miller, everybody. Dennis.
Bella. Dennis. No, Traggers, Whitey Bulger is my nickname for Congressman Anthony Weiner. Hey! That makes sense, there doesn't it? It goes perfect. You must have loved that. Well, I uh, know I did. It was uh, until it got weird. You know, it had that moment where you're laughing, you're laughing, you're laughing, and then you go, ooh, that's skeevy. And uh, I think he neared his chest. I hope. Yeah, because if not, that man's part dolphin. Yeah. yeah. I found his areolas to be hypnotic. They. <laughs> They just lured me. I'm getting man breasts myself. Now, granted, they're pert, but they're man breasts nonetheless. <laughs> you know when I knew I was getting man breasts? I was watching a show one night called uh, Man vs. Wild, Bear Grylls. Have oh, you yeah, seen the yeah. show? Yeah, I have seen that show. Former SAS. You know the British guy. He's ripped, solid core. Yeah. They take him all over the world. He dives out of a plane into environmental hotspots using only his gow and his wit and his survival instincts. He gets himself out. I'm watching one night, and they're over the Amazon rainforest. He parachutes out of a small pipe cub airplane and he's shirtless and I remember thinking for God's sakes if I did that it would be death by mammalian flutter I would just be just be beaten like the like the speed bag in Ray Leonard's gym before Duran too or Mamanular flutter? Mamanular, mamanular that, flutter. That's fantastic. I love that expression, mamanular flutter. Hey, I read, I read your book since I was last year. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was no, great. You, no. look, you, you look good drunk. Yeah, yeah. I was drunk for <laughs> ages. For ages. That just picture from... you with that drum kit oh, yeah. is as sad as it gets. I know, man. <laughs> And you know what I love is that wasn't the bottom, was it? No, no, but man, that was me getting started. That was like, <laughs> that was like 10 years before. There's no pictures at rock bottom, no. buddy. There's nobody going, no. smile, here's one for rehab. You know? <laughs> like a vampire. You didn't even photograph no, at that point. Right. You don't register on film. You're just like, uh. <laughs> hey, I was Paris. It looked great. I, it was you know, fun? I had a good time. You ever been over there? Last time I was in Paris, I had a cab driver who smelled like a man eating gorgonzola cheese while getting a permanent inside the septic tank of a slaughterhouse. <laughs> I said... He's still there. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, 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 he's still there. I said, hey, pal, there's an extra five in it for you if you run over a... I got a map. Skunk, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Come on, now, do it, do it America, yeah. There you go. Oh, I know we high five this yeah. bad, but I wanted to that, so bad. No one will high five you over there. You go to high five and they're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they give you a high shrug. Listen, like, eh. Anybody ever does that in Paris? They think it's a sig how and they hit the mattresses. <laughs> That's right. Like, oh, uh, no, no, they're here again. I see where the uh, the French are doing away with all uh, snack machines in their school system. No more candies, no more sodas, no more snack cakes. Mm. It's all part of the French master plan to raise healthier cowards. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Come on now. French finally take a stand against somebody. It's little Debbie. <laughs> You're never going to see that pigtailed vixen coming yeah. through the Arc de Triomphe on top of that panzer. No way. That's where we draw the line. You know, right you know I'm surprised. We, we should have taken you with us to France. Uh, hey, now tell me about Let this. me see the mug. Let me dig the mug. All right. Huh? That's nice. This is the most unbridled show on the air. Yeah. Huh? Whatever happened to suicide by asp? When did that go out of style? Is huh? it out of style? What? Is it? Cleopatra. I'm you, no, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm ready, that's how I'm going to do it. Yeah, lay back. Yeah. I'm going to lay back and... and unguent and ointments on your body and just put the asp up to the carotid I'm going to rub myself huh? with an asp and see what happens. <laughs> Now, whenever I do that goofy laugh, when he makes me laugh, you always end up on the outtake reel before the show goes. <laughs> Think you some Cheshire. Yeah, that, and it'll happen again. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. I, now you're just looking fantastic. Right, there you and go. No. Tell me about this thing you're doing with Bill then. What's going on with you and Bill? Billy O'Reilly. Yeah. We're going to go out on the road, do a little... Does he do stand-up? Huh? No. We come out. I do some stand-up. He talks. We do Q&A with the crowd. We do a song or something at the end? Little adagio dance, he beats yeah. me, you know. We wear. I think it'd be a little, a little Martin Lewis thing, you know. Bill does a kind of. Eh, da, 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 da. He's trying to sing the song seriously, and you come on and go, Lady! Lady! <laughs> Just like uh, uh, Dino and Jerry yeah, yeah, at the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ciro's up on the strip. Yeah, that. Well, listen, Billy's a lot of. Uh, you know, when he's on the show, he's got to play the Irish beat cop. You know, he's got to run the show over there. But when right. you get him along, when you go to uh, have dinner or go out and do these shows, he's funny. He's quick on his feet. Will he be able to be funny in front of the folks? Oh, because I mean, it's very political. It'd be very political the two of you being political. That I never do politics on this show, Dennis. <laughs> 
trying to figure out what your what your political bent is. You know what my political is bent is when I'm on TV. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to tell some jokes, man. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I, I, I don't want, like when sometimes when we get politicians on, it doesn't happen often, they start going, I'm like, oh, you know what, shut the tootsie fruitsie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, even if I agree with them, I'm like, oh, you know what, you just, look, there's plenty of shows for you to do it. Right, yeah. We have a talk. Uh-oh. Robot. What's <laughs> wrong with me? Let's have a hand for former Speaker Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pelosi never no. shuts up. It's just occasionally you have to hood her like a falcon so we, so we can sleep. I used to watch Pelosi wielding the gavel to speak of the House of Representatives. I felt like Charlton Heston waking up in the field and the chimp was on top of the pony. <laughs> give me a minute now, give me a minute. Meaning something had gone horribly oh, wrong. Yeah. I actually got it. There was just, <laughs> oh. God. How are things with you? You all right? I'm happy, man. Yeah, are yeah. you happy? Yeah, that's I'm bad happy. for work, man. If you're a comic, you can't be happy too. Oh, that's all. Really? You know that, comic, yeah. When you you look back, were you creative when you were that no. that picture I saw you? No, that was I was creatively huh? drunk. I was. Uh... There's a there's an Exorcist outtake where they show Linda Blair that photo and she goes, "Get that away!" Freaking yeah, out. yeah. It's, it's you look funny. like you were in the pits of hell, man. Now I see you on a when I watch it, and I try to watch it a lot because you make me laugh. But I watch it, I go, "Now there is a man freed from the uh, the bonds of addiction for God." Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I, I feel that. I mean, it's, I, I try I, as much as I can to enjoy myself. And if I can't, I just take out my anger on him. <laughs> <laughs> I find that it works. I mean, I, I don't think it's, you know, it's, you know, correct no, in any way. But but he's, he demands to be smoted periodically. Yeah. Look at his shadowy figure there, judging me in silhouette form. Yeah, where do you get off? <laughs> Stay off my boy, all right? <laughs> You know what's interesting as well is that I don't think he's meant to be that badly lit, but it kind of works. You know what I mean? The shadowy figure of the man. I know. It's like that great uh, Larry Sanders, which, you know, oh, along yes. with Seinfeld, one of the greatest shows ever where Larry gets addicted to the painkillers and he's up in the mountains trying to quit it. And Artie goes up to get him to come back and do what you're doing nightly. And Gary goes, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. He's like, for sake, kid, you're a Greek god, half man, half desk. <laughs> That's, that's what he looks like to me. Like a podium centaur or something. Podium centaur. That's what we're going to call you from now on. He doesn't have legs, he just has rollers. Wheels. You know, the thing is, though, as well, I don't think many people recognize him when he, go, when he goes out and about because, you know, daylight is so much more flattering to yeah. him. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That happened, to me, that happened to me in Paris. A lot of people said... Yeah, you missed American. it, right? Didn't no, you miss it a little? I, what? Being famous. When you get to Paris, nobody knew you. you. You didn't miss that a little? I don't think I'm that famous here, Dennis. I, <laughs> when I go out, people go, Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy, what do you want? No. If I go to Starbucks, people go, Name, please? Yeah. yeah. Seeing you on the streets like seeing Jonathan Winters on the street, you're afraid to say hi because you know it's going to get really yeah. wildly diffracted. But trust me, man, your people out there on the street dig you because it's fun every night. You know yeah. what I mean? I, listen, there's, I think we're in a golden era of these nighttime shows. Everybody's yeah, hitting the ball ones, pretty yeah. strong. Yeah. But I definitely know when I need wacky whitey bulger, I go yeah. to you. Yeah, that's right. Well, God bless you. Have fun on the All tour. Right, it's always good, good to, to see you, baby. Thanks, Dennis folks. Miller, for the Please welcome Dennis Miller, everybody. Dennis! My dear boy. It's just back in my dressing room, green eggs and hamter baiting. Yo. <laughs> nice. Um. Do you also have a hammy penis? It's one of those things that happens with age, I think. Well, my nickname is Vienna. You know, I had dinner with the other night. Who did you have dinner with? Carol Burnett, who Carol did her Burnett. show right downstairs. Yeah. And she told me she thought you were quite the, uh, she must have been on here, right? Oh, yeah. She, she said she, he's yeah. quite the charmer. Well, I, I said, Carol, are you kidding me? The guy's clinically insane. He was... <laughs> like that, Dennis. Incorrigible as a young man, mm -hmm. a bit crusty as a middle-aged man, mm -hmm. and well on your way to being a dirty old man. You oh, really? are 
silt in a kilt is the way I look at silt it. Silt in a kilt? Go. It's got the Dr. Seuss. It's, it's got a little bit of nasty yeah. edge. I like it's got a little sex. What's that character's name, the Seuss character? Uh, the Lorax. I thought it was the Thorax, but no, then no, I no, remembered no. that was the uh, animated Deep Throat. And what is hey. the movie about? That's good. <laughs> That's good. Don't be using good stuff like that on this show. Listen, they... <laughs> Here's the sad thing. I'm trying to impress the robot, not you. <laughs> You're not the first. I don't care. How, how are you doing with uh, you and Bill out on the road? Are you guys going to do a sitcom? Billy O'Reilly and I. Yeah. We, uh, we go out on the road and we do two things. We adagio dance, I nice. and the female character. And then um, we do the crying from Mum and Sean's, you know, with the toilet paper rolls where we pull that's the toilet. Also nice. yeah, yeah. That's also yeah. That's what we do. I we think you out. guys should do a sitcom where you have to share an apartment. <laughs> One's a neat Tell me one. more. Yeah, Tell yeah, me more. Right. You're a neat one, and he's a really neat one. That's the twist. <laughs> the thing about this, there's a spot for it. It's never been done. It's never been done. It's been done with neat one on tidy one, but a neat one and a really neat one. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Very yeah. rainy. And a little bit of political commentator business on the way. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, when we go out and do the show, mm -hmm. we have some politics in it, but we also no do humor. I do a half an hour of comedy. Right. Bill does a half an hour of raconteuring about growing up and formulating his political thoughts. We take a break, then we take a half hour question. So, really? you know, it works out pretty yeah, easily. Sounds pretty good. Huh? Do you guys have a tour bus? Um, we actually have a tour smart car. Coming down Fairfax tonight, what? I get into a high speed head on collision with a smart car. I wasn't sure at first. I thought I felt something. And then we got out. <laughs> and. I looked up in the grill of the Beamer, I didn't see anything, but then I saw a moth way up in the left-hand corner. I lifted its right wing, nothing. I lifted the left wing, so there they were, the yeah. Atkinsons. They, uh, we took them away to a what the were you thinking clinic, hey! so... You know I don't encourage right. cussing on this show. Well, I wanted to see why they felt the need to drive around on major surface roads in a Fisher-Price toy. That's all. <laughs> I'd be scared if any of my kids wanted a smart car. I, maybe in uh, maybe in Europe, I think it's all no. right. No, listen. We'll, it's we'll, never all right. We'll replace gas when we run out of it. Right. And that's why I drive an SUV, so we run out of it more quickly. I, I consider myself to be at the vanguard of the environmental oh, movement, and I see people tooling around in these hybrids. I think, don't you have a soul, for God's sakes? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Prolonging Mother Earth's agony like this. Are you a big environmentalist? Me? Huh? Sure. <laughs> Everybody in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, sure, sure, I am. Yeah. For, for, for professional reasons. Excuse me. I'm not. No. Of course, you want to. You want to you know, save no. the earth. I'm not oh, using the curly Q light bulb. Where if I break one, I got to break out the ET tent. And uh, you know, I haven't worked my entire adult life to have my living room lit like a fight scene in an Eastern Bloc stairwell in the Bourne Ultimatum. So uh, <laughs> they got to work on that light a little before I start using it. Candles. Candles are nice. You yeah. Use candles. You want to go with the Barry Lyndon thing? Now, Sheryl Crow wants me to use one sheet of toilet paper. That's not possible. I... No, hey, not... Ration Queen, I'm trying to wrangle a growler over yeah, here. Yeah, okay? yeah. Look... No, that's important. I think that's very ambitious. If you've got a, a nice little demure Sheryl Crow ass, that's one thing. But, well, you know, a big kind of thump and pumper like you mine, you know. Uh... <laughs> Are you proud this is the only show when you're sitting putting your set list together in the afternoon, you go, I can't say wrangle a growler. And then, yeah, it's Ferguson. You can say that. Say it you like, no more. <laughs> hey, um, so you go out on the road with Bill, but you don't have a tour bus then. Do you stay in uh, the same hotel room? Like, you know when Laurel and Hardy... Were, in and out. Well, Laurel and Hardy, when they were together, right, mm -hmm. they would sleep in the same bed. Really? Yeah, you know, not, not in real That's life. Hot. No, in the movies, they'd wear their little pajamas and their hats, and they would sit in bed. Is that, is that what you and Bill do? Ironically, when Laurel and Hardy had homosexual sex, all those silent stars, both screamers. Uh... Did you see that movie? Did no, you see that? there's a movie about them being No, gay no! <laughs> the silent movie! Didn't you see the silent movie? No, I haven't seen no, it. No, I haven't seen it either, but it's awesome. I'm saying that for professional <laughs> reasons. I haven't seen it. I don't... I, I think I've, I know about five people who've seen it. Uh, clearly, they're all Academy voters, but the, uh... <laughs>
Did you watch the Oscars? Um, yeah, I watched it. Listen, the Oscars is so big now that it's hard to do. I, I like the way Billy handles it because Billy's he's great. smooth yeah. at it. But yeah. uh, let's face facts. It's one of those things now that has become so huge. Our expectations are to be something crazy. And quite frankly, you're watching 22 categories over a three-hour period. they got to stop showing some of those clips. Though. Yeah, I've seen them 500 times. I'm sitting there thinking, <laughs> you know what they ought to have is a segment. And instead of people who have died, careers that have died. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see myself up there. I, but you know the show is going too long when you're like two hours in and you're like, will you get to the dead people, yeah, please? Exactly. You know, I, I really, I'm ready for the dead people now. I ran into a Tom Cruise lookalike backstage. What about that uh -huh. guy? Yeah. He was talking to an L. Ron Hubbard lookalike. <laughs> uh. No, man. No. No, don't do uh, it. No. Kid this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, no. Is that a new mug or is that the old no, one? No, it's the same one, I yeah. think. Yeah, the fang's still broken off. Did you, I got you one of these. Hmm? I, I, I didn't really. I'm just doing a Hollywood lie. You know. You got to send it. Getting it's one thing. You always get me one and then you never send it. Well, I, I, What's I, in I, here? Do you drink? Are you no, drinking? I don't, I don't no? drink anymore. It's water. Are you clean now? You're yeah, off yeah, the, yeah. You know, you're, you're like Benny Hill meets Richard E. Grant and with Noah and I. Yeah! That's kind of that's kind of what I'm going that's for. That's exactly yeah, yeah. what I get. You're, yeah. you're kind of like you're kind of like cheeky, um, kind of Dracula, but with a point. <laughs> Dracula has two points. So you oh, no, need no, no, I'm thinking because you got quite, you got kind of Dracula eyes. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, the, you, the yeah, steering. Yeah, I always got a little Manson yeah, on little, my driver's well, photo. Yeah, you got a little piercing going on there. Yeah, a little bit of piercing, a little bit of, a little bit of. Oh, so you crazy! Know, this guy's armed. That's what these say. Now, when I read the, uh, when I read the book, and I have you read his biography? It's great. I yeah. mean, it really is. Yeah. Are you clean now completely? Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. Did you save your own life, or did you get into the program, or what'd you do? Well, you know, it's one of these things that you tend to talk about off the air more often than on the air. <laughs> I just want to say to any alcoholics watching, you know that step where you call me 20 years down the road because you screwed me around on something and you want to make amends so you can get on with your life and you get off the phone and feel good about yourself, but I didn't know you screwed me around, so I get off the phone and I'm pissed off. Stick that phone call up your ass, all right? Wait, 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 wait. wait. We've got to go and commence a break, but just before we do, the view is expressed by Dennis <laughs> are in no way connected to me or the CPS organization. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, we'll be right back. Drama vampires with that kind of thing. like people kind of latch on to it. Trying I to try to stay a little bit more out of it than Andrew did because it's it's too brutal. Yeah, no, it's nasty. It's so oh hey, what's up? Are we back on the air? Yeah, we're on the air. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can I get a heads up? Somebody send up a flare or something? <laughs> well, you you can usually tell because things go even quieter when we're on the air. <laughs> The audience gets even more quiet. I, I not only did I not know we did a second segment, I didn't even know we were in the midst of it. Yeah, as we no, speak. We were, yeah. Actually, we're out of time. Oh, it looks like we were edited there, but we weren't. We were just doing a thing. <laughs> Are we back on now? Oh, yeah, we're oh, back on the air now. I don't worry. Hey, we're out of, we're out of time. Okay, all right, it. we're out of time. It. I get it. So what would you like? Would you like a uh, mouth organ? Would you like an awkward pause? Or do you want to go for the big cash? Big brand? cash, big cash. Big cash, Brian. What time is it? It's time for the big cash prize. All right, here's how it works, Dennis. What is the prize? It's cash. It's a big cash prize. It's $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar Can sign Can I tell on. you what charity I'm paying for? Uh, yeah, if you want to give it to charity, I guess that's your lookout. I'm playing for a group called People Who Die From Touching Quarters. Go ahead. All right. Well, there's in a bag. All right. All right. Uh, there's two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. But I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff, the robot, knows what's in the box. You try and guess. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to guess the box. Okay. Okay, if that's the way you want to go. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jeff, are you ready? I am ready. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, I'm imagining... A box. Mm. <laughs> Why do you have to make that sexy noise when I say that? You know, I mean, I'm just getting into it, man. All right. <laughs> this guy's got to use an Allen wrench to get. <laughs> hey, 
hey, hey, hey, hey. He's, no, he's not the only one. <laughs> will, will that mysteriously not be in the show as well? <laughs> hey, it looks like we were edited again! This is gonna sound like uh, Goodfellows on TNT. <laughs> You know what you are, buddy? You know what you are? You're a melon farmer. You're a melon farmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm imagining a box, Jeff. Mm -hmm. There's something in it. Okay, uh, Dennis, there's something in the box. What are you thinking of? A smaller, circular box. <laughs> What kind of drugs were you into back in the day? <laughs> Thorazine. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey, did I win it? We would have accepted Hammy Peters. <laughs> but your answer is correct. Correct answer! 